Hello, and welcome to Travel Babble with Basha. I recently sailed on the Sapphire Princess, one of the ships on the Princess Cruise Line. One of the traditions that they have on there was the Champagne Waterfall. Now this was my first time on Princess, and I had never experienced this before. But by the time I got off there, I had been on for so long, I experienced it three times. And each time was similar and yet different. Let me just take a moment to explain it to you. But while I'm doing that, how about you subscribe to my channel and like this video? The Champagne Waterfall can vary on when it's held depending on what your itinerary is, what port days and sea days you have, but it seems to generally fall on the first formal night, which is also usually the first or could possibly be the second sea day. Again, it depends. I was on very long cruises, and it was generally our first formal night. Now, the first night that I watched this, I showed up a little early because I wanted to see what this was about, and I wanted to try to get a good seat. It does fill up rather quickly. Now, on the Sapphire Princess, it was held in the piazza on Deck 5. Deck 5 in that area is open all the way up including decks 5, 6, and 7. So people will be at all those different areas watching. But of course, most of the activity is going on on deck 5, so people want to be down there. And it's just amazing to watch the people who come out, the crew members who set up the Champagne Waterfall. They take all the different glasses and they stack them. And I never did count how many levels there were. I probably should go back and do that. But there were a lot of levels, and it started out wide, of course, and it got more narrow as it went up. And then they fill it with usually some type of a color of a liquid. Now, most of the time when I saw it, it was a sapphire color. Made sense. We were on the sapphire princess. Then what they do is they welcome everybody, of course, at the time the event is starting. And it's very nice because most people there are in their formal attire, if they're not completely formal, they are pretty dressed up. The first time that I did it, I was extremely formal. I love to dress up. I love formal nights. I do me, you do you. But I was dressed up and enjoying it. They welcome you, and then at some point the major D comes out and they do a countdown. And the head major D, sometimes somebody else might be with him, maybe the cruise director. They stand there and they take the champagne bottle, they pop it, and with the countdown, they pour it down the champagne waterfall. Three, two, one. Now this major D that was on there when I was on there, Daniela, he he loved to splash the champagne around, and you would see him, he'd be going up and down and everything. It was more a chance of like, could, let's calm down, let's just pour it. But you could tell he was really enjoying himself. After they do that initial waterfall, they invite people on the cruise to come up. And they have little stairs that you walk, and you, you just need to be careful because... You're probably in you know, your formal gown, maybe you have high heels on. So just be careful going up and down the steps. But then you get to stand there and hold the champagne bottle with the major D, and together you pour it, or as sometimes it's going up and down. The ship's photographers are there, they take a picture. You can also have your friends take pictures. You can go up as a group or as a family, whatever, or you can go up by yourself. If you're not doing that or once you've done it, be patient because it's nice that everybody has a chance. However, at a certain point, they will cut that off because then they will start introducing the officers. And they did that from deck six. There was a part where um, people could come out. So everybody in deck five, you can look up and see. Deck seven can look down. Deck six can see over from that open area. And it's nice because, as I said, it's one of your first days on board. And you've probably not met a lot of the officers. You get to see who they are. You may be seeing their pictures, but you don't know who they are. So they're just introduced really quickly. Most of them don't say anything. They're just introduced. But then the captain comes up, and the captain will give a little speech to welcome you on board. After the captain speaks, they may or may not come back. If there's still people that want to get pictures taken, they may make time to do some more of that. And then if you stick around for a while, you can watch them start to take the champagne glasses away. 
And again, it's just amazing to watch how they do that. So hopefully you'll get a chance, if you sail on one of the Prince's ships, to experience the Champagne Waterfall. But in order to do that, you have to get on the ship, which means you need to go pack your bag. 